वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट वेलोसिटी टाइम ग्राफ इन वेलोसिटी टाइम ग्राफ वी यूज टू एक्सिस वर्टिकल अलॉन्ग वाई एक्सिस विच रिप्रेजेंट्स वेलोसिटी हॉरिजोंटल एक्स एक्सिस विच रिप्रेजेंट्स टाइम सो to represent velocity time graph we need two axes along y axis we represent velocity and along x axis we represent time now let us see different types of graph if the velocity time sketch is parallel to the time axis it means the body is moving with constant velocity if the velocity time uh, sketch is parallel to the time axis as this is zero as we will uh, move up the velocity gets increases now we are finding at this point what will be the velocity along with the time the velocity is not increasing so it represents Uh, the body is moving with constant velocity let us see the next again we will draw two axis for velocity and for time if a velocity time sketch is inclined to the time axis and it is a straight line like this so it represents a body moving with a uh, constant acceleration or we can say the body is moving with uniform acceleration as we can see as the time is increasing velocity is also increasing at certain point let it be zero as one second the velocity may be 2 uh, meter per second at 2 seconds the velocity may be 4 meter per second one One second, the velocity is one meter per second. If two second at two second, the velocity is two meter per second. So like that, it means in one second there is an increase of two. Uh, there is an increase of one uh, meter per second. So it represents a body moving with uh, uniform acceleration. Let us see the next. again we will draw to axis to represent velocity and time if a graph is representing uh, like this so it represents in the first the time along the time axis the graph is moving for, uh, faster and along the velocity it is not increasing means time taken is more and increase in velocity is less so we can see in this after some time what happens in less time there is more increase in velocity so this represents an increasing an increasing acceleration so acceleration is increasing in this case again if we will say the graph just opposite to that one velocity and this side time if the graph is represented like this opposite to that one like this so it represents the velocity is decreasing uh, sorry acceleration is decreasing decreasing acceleration if the curve lines are there so it is uh, the velocity is changing with uh, non uniform acceleration if this is a curved line if we will find a graph like this velocity and time suppose a graph is represented like this it means time is not changing but velocity is changing at the same time the body possesses different velocities it is not possible so this type of graph is not possible it is not possible graph as uh, we are finding different velocities at same time now this is uh, of different types of uh, graphs which we are finding 
in velocity time uh, graph let us see what we can obtain from velocity time graph the first thing we can obtain from velocity time graph is um, displacement from velocity time graph we can calculate displacement how we can calculate the displacement let us see the area enclosed by velocity time sketch and the time axis the area enclosed by velocity time sketch and the time axis gives the displacement it means uh, this area if you will see this area it is velocity time sketch and this is the time axis so this area will gives the uh, displacement how let us check if we will join this line so we are getting a rectangle let, let us name it a o a b c if we are finding the area of rectangle so area of rectangle is o a into we can write o c length into breadth o a is time and o c is velocity so as we know velocity into time is displacement so we will get velocity into time is displacement as we know uh, velocity is equals to displacement by time so we can write velocity into time is displacement so area enclosed by velocity time uh, sketch and the time axis gives the displacement if we want to find the displacement in this case so what we will do we will first uh, join this line and then after we will find the area of this triangle so this will give the displacement of the body so first thing what i said from the velocity time graph we can calculate displacement by finding the area enclosed by velocity time axis sorry velocity time sketch and the time axis if the graph is like that let us see as velocity is a vector quantity so it can be negative also time this side velocity zero velocity and this side negative velocity suppose let us see a graph for a body is like this suppose a graph is like this if we have to find the displacement in this case so what we will do we will find this area area of trapezium and again the area of trapezium suppose the area of trapezium is this uh, let us name it o a b c d e and f then area of trapezium let this area and this area we will find now the displacement is uh, area of trapezium o a b c minus area of trapezium d c d e f if the displacement if the area we can find if we are finding the area below the time axis then that displacement is taken as negative so total displacement will be area of this trapezium plus area of this trapezium and we will take it as a negative now so first i said we can find a uh, displacement from velocity time graph next we can find the acceleration of the body acceleration of the body from the velocity time graph by finding the slope let us see if the body is moving with constant acceleration then velocity axis this is the time axis let the body is moving with constant acceleration so we will get a graph as a straight line inclined to the time axis if you want to find the uh, acceleration so we will find the slope so for finding the slope we will take two point point a and point b let us draw two perpendiculars m n join this two line let it with c so we are getting a triangle abc let this uh, angle is 
theta. So we can write slope of line AB is equals to 10 theta. Slope is equals to 10 theta. 10 theta is equals to perpendicular by base. As we are finding the perpendicular BC and base is AC. Then BC value we can calculate. Uh, let this total distance it is the velocity so let it be b and this is the initial so we can consider let nc is u and this total time is t2 and this one is t1 then we can write bc is equals to this value we have to find so we can write b minus u v is total and this is u so v minus u bc and ac is equals to mm so we can write t2 minus t1 and we can get v minus u by t so rate of change of velocity is acceleration so we can say that from the slope of velocity time graph from the slope of velocity time graph we can calculate the acceleration of the body if the body is uh, moving with uh, if the body is not moving with constant acceleration then what we can see what we can find let us see suppose velocity and this side time let the graph is like this means body is moving with increasing velocity if we want to find the acceleration at any instant we will draw a tangent at that instant and finding the slope of this tangent we can calculate the velocity uh, we can find the uh, acceleration of the body at that particular instant so we can say that we can find the acceleration of the body at any instant by finding the slope at that instant if the slope of velocity time graph is negative it means the motion is retarding that means negative acceleration or retardation let us draw a graph for a body retarding uniformly for that we will take velocity axis and this is the time axis negative acceleration means retardation so we will draw the graph like this so it represents a uniform retardation the body is retarding uniformly because the slope is negative let us compare the acceleration of two bodies from velocity time graph if the two bodies are moving along same direction with different constant accelerations let the graph is like this velocity and this side time suppose for body a this is the graph and for body b this is the graph if the question is if someone is asked which body having greater acceleration then we can say the acceleration of body a will be more because the graph this graph from this graph if we will find the slope then the slope of line OA will be more than the slope of straight line OB it means slope is greater so acceleration will be also greater means body A is moving with greater acceleration this is all about velocity time graph. In next video, I will explain about equations of motion by graphical method. Thank you students. Thank you for watching.